ஒர்க்ஷாப்ஸ்ட்டிஷன் like cab mit they have all hold those competitions audible uh, events so the one thing that they have is an idea i have seen a lot of traction in the last couple of years wherein i have seen a lot of student entrepreneurs like first year second year engineering guys of course they mba guys coming up with an idea and a good wireframe to support it and they want to roll it on the ground so i also help as a startup mentor i help not only those guys but the guys over the industry who start from level 0 to 1 or 1 to 2 or then uh, possibly connect with uh, people like pankaj and some other venture capitalists who could validate the idea and help them to uh, get traction so that they become eligible for funding you can't just expect funding at the idea level to get that particular era is gone although there are so many friends of mine who just got funded on an idea but again that's been uh, a little more wishful right now in this era especially after demonetization <laughs> i've had proposals turned down in the last 3 months uh, okay let's not bring the prime minister or something but seriously some things have happened which has delayed the funding of those guys so now better or stricter validations of those ideas good thing bad thing you can decide so what is validating an idea how do you get your idea validated by whom do you get it validated why should you get it validated can't you just have an idea roll it on the ground and then uh, see what happens so there has to be a systematic process this is what i tell my the startups i mentor or some other startups or you might have some other mentors they will also tell you the same you need to have it validated so that it becomes feasible practical and uh, it is like what the while of the guy who are going to be co-founders or employees it's difficult to ask the startup founders it's difficult to find employees first of all instead of uh, they applying to jobs and pitching to you you as a founder actually pitch to them that why they should be connected to you and join your uh, organization rather than a uh, infosys or uh, any other project company so to talk about the things uh to talk about his journey into the world of entrepreneurship uh he has also raised uh, some amount of funding and how we got that idea validated maybe by his peers friends family or uh, guys in the industry why is it so important for validation for an idea we have uh, the founder of tetris incorporation lokesh gupta so please help me welcome lokesh on stage okay. so getting an idea like i said there are so many others who have come here with an idea in mind how to take it forward how to roll it on the ground uh, talk about that we have already have lokesh so over to you thanks amit uh, i am lokesh gupta i am a co-founder and cto of gatus we are an industrial iot company providing hardware and software solutions <coughs> to connect any type of industrial machine to cloud for data analytics visualization and data collection uh, any type uh, uh, anything to do with the machine industrial machine data or simply put to make industrial machine smart a uh, so brief background about myself uh, i am born and brought up in pune i graduated uh, in uh, electronics from vit uh, then worked for a couple of years in industry in folks marshall then i went for my masters did my phd and started this company in us uh we are headquartered in us with office in chicago as well as in pune uh so first let me ask you how many of you have ideas for startups okay lot of people have it right 
uh, you have ideas for startups, but first thing before going to startups, first understand what's the problem that you're solving. Because more, everybody has ideas, but that doesn't mean that the idea is solving a problem. You need you need to identify the problem that is there. That is a major problem. Otherwise, you will develop a company which goes nowhere. Nobody will be ready to invest if you cannot get customers. Then, let's say you have identified a problem. Now, what's the uh, is the problem common? How many people are facing that problem? That's somewhat to some extent. Uh, that's to some extent is a market market survey. You need to under, uh, you need to understand that how many people actually face that problem. Uh, I can give you uh, I'll uh, give you a good example uh, from my journey. We originally started as a sensors company. During my PhD, I had developed this technology <coughs> for monitoring uh, rotating machines. Uh, we uh, we pitched that idea into a business plan competition and we won. Then we went. Then we actually started looking at whether is this a problem? Is this problem common? The problem is common. It's a fifty billion dollar problem, but its impact is also huge. The impact in some industries for that particular sensor technology is upwards of five hundred billion dollars. But the question, the last question here, this is: Does did that problem require a very very innovative solution? In our case, the answer was no, and the market told us. So, once you have identified a problem, then you can go to okay. Is my then you can analyze what your idea is. So, coming to this, you have an idea today. You have, uh, for example, some of the technologists can file a patent on it. You might have some uh, in your, uh, some research paper, some blog. You might uh, people are telling you that this is a great idea, right? But you have to ask this question: How is that problem being solved today? See, uh, you always have you you will always have uh, solutions to most of the problems because that problem is going on for last <coughs> ages. For example, right? Uh, is the so in our case, for example, in our case, there were already uh, the sensor technology that, that I had developed. There were alternatives already in the market, which were easier than what I had developed. Even though my system was better in terms of performance, customers were inclined to go for a easier go for a easier solution, and that's what market told us. Then, five. In this case, again, uniqueness is uh, uniqueness is very very important when you are going for. A, Solution. There are always competition. There is. There will be always competition in the market. The thing. Uh, the last thing is impact of your solution. Can your solution become a multi-billion-dollar business? If not, no investor is going to touch you. You will. You will never. It's so difficult to raise funding in this market. If you cannot create a multi-billion-dollar business, it cannot be the next unicorn. Yes, there will be failures. There will be failures. You can fail, but you have to prove to the investors or whoever you are talking to that this is the next big thing. If that is not there, if you cannot analyze that aspect, then probably your idea is not your idea is not worth a business or a startup. How do you validate this? How do you validate your ideas? Uh, create a prototype. Create a prototype. Create a business plan. Create a Create a presentation. Uh, for example, with our technology, we participated in business plan competitions. We won. We got a lot of we got a lot of press coverage in US. But after that, we utilized that money to talk to actual customers who will buy that product. Each and every customer said, "Great technology. We are very impressed, but we are not going to buy it." Two hundred interviews in mining. Coal, uh, in coal mining space, oil and gas space, coal manufacturing, coal engineering space, not a single customer said we are inclined to buy it. We did that for eight months, but customer also said we are not interested in sensor technology. 
customer said, we don't know what to do with the data that is coming from these technologies. That's a major problem. Customers gave us the direction to pivot. We had the money, we had the technology, we had the experience. But the markets drove, markets gave us the direction. And that's what is market value. That's what is the, your idea validation. We had not sold anything. We didn't have a prototype at that time when we were talking to 200 interviews. We, when we were doing 200 interviews, not a single customer was signed up. We had money in the bank account because we had won $120,000 in business plan combinations. We had a, we had a quote from energy secretary from you, uh, energy secretary of US that this is amazing technology. But market said no, it's not. We don't need this. And that's what you have to talk to people. You have to talk to people, whatever your idea is. People and talking to people is not just asking somebody, hey, how, what do you think of this? They will say, yes, this is a great technology. The next question you should ask is, are you going to buy it? <laughs> if the answer is yes, when? What do you need? What do you need to make that decision? Because people, <coughs> whoever you go to, let's say first step, you talk to your friends, your friends, your family, some contact who is in that industry, right? You go to them, you ask them, hey, uh, how is this technology? They'll, the first thing is they don't they don't want to hurt your feelings. They will say, yes, this is great. They will even say that yes, I'm ready to buy. It. But the next question is, are you ready to buy today when I have an MVP? If the answer is yes, then there is some potential. But still, until and unless you get a purchase order for anything, any of your businesses, whether it's SaaS kind of service model, whether it's product based, whether it's an aggregator model, until and unless you get a first contract, first MOU, first purchase order, there is no validation done. You need to hit minimum thresholds for everything to validate your idea. A good process that we followed was first step is participate in business plan combination because that first of all it helps you with business plans. It helps you create a dedicated plan. It helps you create a pitch. Pitching is in itself an art. If you cannot, you have a great idea, but if you cannot pitch, you cannot validate your technology. Or whatever is your idea. Create a plan, then first step is create a focus group. Call your friends, call their friends, create a group of 30, 40 people who may not be directly related, but somewhat related. So they may they can understand whatever you are doing. Talk to them. They will they will help you at least polish your pitch. First step. Once your pitch is polished, once your uh, once your uh, once you're, they understand the idea, first, a lot of people will not understand your idea. <laughs> That's a major challenge in, across the board. You, you can pitch to 1000 people and only 5 or 6 people will be there who will actually understand your idea. So what that helps you is, first it starts with the pitch. So you have to optimize your pitch, how many of you understood it. And this happens especially in the complex technology scenario where you have super complex stuff that you are explaining and nobody understands it. Once you have done, once you have incorporated that feedback, now you go to a very, very extremely focused group for your target customers. You think they are target customers, market will give you a direction. We first thought that oil and gas was a target vertical for us and it is still today. But for us being a B2B business, sales cycles in uh, oil and gas is one year. A startup cannot survive one year for waiting for a customer. So we pivoted. We pivoted to manufacturing, which is sales cycles are three to four months. But markets told us, when we asked this question, when are you going to buy this technology? They said, not happening anytime soon. It's, it's going to take at least eight to nine months. Startups cannot wait that long. Then, Basically, uh, take the feedback from the customers. Uh, as I said, we, we started as a sensors, uh, sensors company, developing a hardware solution. Markets, after talking to, for eight months we were talking to people, not using that money. Everywhere we went, 
customer is saying, no, we don't care about the sensor technology. We care about what to do with the data. And that's where Datus came in. Our company's name earlier was Bearing Analytics. We changed it to Datus, which is a play on data plus machine status. After, that's where the validation happened. That's where the, 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 uh, uh, the customer said, we want a platform which you can, which is plug and play. I just connect. Uh, I just. I don't need. I don't want to do any coding. Customer hates coding in my, in our space. Customer, I don't want to. See, I don't want to see coding. Many of you want to do a SaaS platform. Our customer said, "Don't show me graphs. Don't show me dashboards. On 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 mobile phone, just show me a message that what's going to happen to my machine when it's going to fail, and what I need to do to fix that problem." I don't care about graphs, I don't care about numbers. That All that direction came from the customers when we started talking to them. And that's how we developed the whole platform. The, the, in simple words, the processes identify, solve the problem, validate it after talking to customers. If you don't get, if you cannot find customers, there, won't, there is no business, there is no funding. Simple as that. Before even going to funding, validate it. If you have some traction, if you have some metrics to show, I'm not talking about market reports. You have to show actual customer numbers. You have to show customer validation for any business. It's, it's whether B2C or it's B2B. If you cannot show some traction, even if a simple survey that, okay, I spoke to these 50 people, this is the demographic. That is important and this is the response that I'm getting. It will help you first optimize your pitch and it will help you optimize your product as well. Validate and the most important aspect, the most important word of a startup is pivot. It will help you pivot very, very rapidly. You have to talk to your customers. Investors help in connecting you to the customers, but investors are not your customers. That, that's people get excited when they get funding, but you have to understand this aspect that with funding comes a lot of responsibility. You are using somebody else's money. That's very, very important. You cannot, you cannot use investors money to do a market research. It has to, that, that money has to be used for scaling the business. You have to have, by that time you have to have customers. Only customers can create a sustainable business. If you cannot get customers, there is no business, there is no funding. And for that, you need to talk to people. That's how validation happens. Your startup idea validation will happen if you keep on talking to people. Network with them. Attend such meets. Talk to investors. Before even asking for money, talk to them. Can you connect me to this person in this industry? That's the valuable suggestion you will get. And he will be more inclined. He will be more focused. Everybody goes and hey, would you like would you like to give me money? First question comes to investors mm -hmm. mind. Why should I give you money? Right? Just reverse the table. Just reverse the table. If you are an investor, are you going to give the money to somebody? No. Even if you are going today buy to buy groceries today, you talk to five people, five vendors. Do you just give it to one vendor? No. You bargain. You talk to them. You get what you basically buy what is best. It's same with investors as well. So you need to show the validation of your product. You need to show that idea. You need to show, hey, I have spoken to these, these customers. These are the customers who are ready to sign MOU. These are the customers that have come on board on my portal. This is the feedback that I'm getting. Customers will be, uh, investors will be more willing to invest. That's that's the my small talk on the, how to validate the idea. But one word, talk and get their feedback and pivot. That's that's the key word here. You will have to pivot. Whatever the idea you think is great, after one year of starting the company, you will realize it was not that great.